mobility has evolved at an incredible pace over the years. Mobility is no longer just about movement. It is purpose and flexibility embodied in the PBV. This is the future of mobility. It brings new value to transportation by using the interior for a variety of purposes. So, what's the next step in the evolution of mobility? In order to tackle that question, we need to take a look at the old, unchanging drivetrain. Let's take an electric car for example. The motor spins at a high speed to generate power. The reducer reduces the motor rotation speed and increases torque output. And the drive shaft sends power to each wheel. In between the power source and the wheel on either side of the drive shaft is the CV joint. It's a special component that transfers power from the motor to the wheels at a constant speed, even when the wheels are moving in all directions on uneven roads. Until now, this structure was the natural choice. Even when transitioning from internal combustion engines to electric vehicles, the drivetrain didn't change much. But as mobility transitioned to make versatile use of interior space, this became an issue. The parts take up so much space. If you reduce the amount of space the parts take up, won't there be more space inside? Maybe. But in order to move the motor and make space between the wheels, the length of the drive shaft must be shortened. This would increase the angle of the CV joint and reduce efficiency, durability, and ride quality. Oh, wait a second. What if we take the CV joint, drive shaft, and reducer and move them all into the wheel, then split the motor into smaller components and move them into each wheel. That right there is the Uni Wheel. Introducing the Universal Wheel Drive System. It's a functionally integrated wheel that completely changes the drivetrain paradigm. The Uni Wheel is comprised of four pinion gears placed on either side of the sun gear. These all mesh together to rotate the ring gear. How does it work? First, the motor generates power and transmits it to the sun gear, turning the pinion gears on either side, which in turn spin the ring gear. This ring gear is connected to the wheel and provides the power to turn the wheel. From there, the linkage assembly, which is composed of the pinion gears, moves, completing the motion of the wheel. The coolest part of UniWheel is its ability to move freely even when transmitting power. Torque can be controlled regardless of the wheel's movement, which allows for the wheel's torque output to be continuous and smooth. The result is an entirely new type of wheel that is constantly transmitting power, yet has freedom in its movement. What's more, you don't need a separate reducer to achieve the necessary reduction rate, just the gear ratio between the ring gear and the sun gear. It was a bumpy ride to find the optimal structure. We tested countless structures and possibilities. Now. What happens when you install the UniWheel to a vehicle? Voila! This space can now be utilized in the interior. But how well does the UniWheel function? In existing systems, the efficiency of the power transferred from the motor can vary depending on the movement of the wheel. With traditional CV jointed drive shafts, the efficiency of the power transfer decreases when the angle of the wheel changes. However, UniWheel is different in a test of the UniWheel with a 150mm stroke, it was found that the transmission efficiency was consistently satisfactory at any position, regardless of the wheel's motion. How about output torque oscillations? Normally, when the wheel moves, the gears on the input shaft rotate, causing the output torque of the wheel to oscillate. Even if the linkage moves, the UniWheel does not produce output torque oscillations because the gear on the input shaft is not affected. This means stable and comfortable driving is possible no matter the environment. Thanks to the freedom in motor placement and ride height, safety and efficiency are greatly enhanced at high speeds. Plus, if you add an extra battery in the space freed up by UniWheel, you can improve range. When they say good things come in small packages, they mean UniWheel. So, is it strong enough? The first ever UniWheel test vehicle has passed a rigorous performance requirement test. Research is currently ongoing and the gear ratio will be further adjusted to meet conditions for mass production. 
The uni wheel is all about maximizing the space between the wheels in order to maximize interior space. This is achieved by miniaturizing the central motor and attaching it to each wheel. Independent control over drive of all four wheels results in exceptional optimal traction, meeting the demands of high-performance vehicles. All-wheel torque vectoring like never before. One more important question comes to mind. Can the UniWheel be adapted to different mobility needs? The UniWheel can be adapted to different wheel sizes due to its modular design. Only minor modifications need to be made depending on the stroke. This modularity means that it can be adapted to any vehicle, even other modes of mobility like delivery robots. Think of any mode of transportation. That's UniWheel's next target. If you're a car enthusiast, you're probably aware of how long conventional drivetrains were considered the standard. Now, UniWheel offers a new paradigm for mobility. Imagine the ways in which PBVs can utilize the space created by the UniWheel. It might just change the future of mobility yet again. So, that's UniWheel.